Hi, this is Raja Bhupati from Radiant IAS Academy. So now I'm going to solve the 2018 UPSC, the Civil Service Examinations, Paper 2, Aptitude Problems, in a detailed manner with shortcuts. And also I'm going to cover the concepts So about me, please read. Okay, now the first question. A number consists of three digits of which the middle one is zero and their sum is four. If the number formed by interchanging the first and last digit is greater than the number itself by 198, then find the difference between the first and last digit. So what is given? Given a three digit number. The three digit number where the middle digit is zero. So therefore this is going to be of the form A. This is going to be zero. This is the unit digit. If I interchange the digits then I'll get B, 0, A. So what is given? The difference is equal to 198. See this symbol means difference. So the difference is the difference between any two numbers always non-negative. Can be 0 if the both the numbers are 0. Both the numbers are same. Okay. Right. So what is difference? Difference is normally defined as the largest minus smallest. Or in statistics, in basic statistics, it is called the range. Okay. So we are going to find the difference between the first and last digits. Okay. This is given and also given A plus B equal to 4, the sum of the digits. See, most of the aptitude problems can be solved without using pen or pencil. This is of one kind. Now I'm going to explain in detail and also the shortcut how to solve this problem mentally. So suppose you are so you are supposed to know the concept, the basic concepts involved involved in. Now, how do you write how do you write the value of a three-digit number? The value of a three-digit number is this is A is a hundreds place, zero, tens place, B, units place. So therefore, this is equal to. So this is equal to 100 A plus 10 times zero plus one into B. Similarly, B, zero, A. This three digit number is 100 B plus 10 into 0 plus 1 into A. So what is given? The difference between these two is 198. So that means 100A plus B, the difference 100B minus plus A. So 100A plus B, 100B plus A is equal to 198. This means I am going to assume that this is a greater number. So without loss of generality. So therefore this is going to be 99A. Okay, use the same different symbol. So this is 99B, which is equal to 99 into A difference B is equal to 198. So this implies, what is this A difference B? A difference B is equal to 2. So therefore, the answer is 2. Now, how do you solve this problem without using pen or pencil? So what is the concept? And please note that the difference between the difference between, for example, any three digit number and the number obtained by reversing the digits is always going to be the multiples of 99. 
similarly the difference between any two digit number and the two digit number obtained by reversing the digit is always going to be the multiples of 9 and moreover this k is nothing but this is this k is nothing but the difference between the first and last digits so k is nothing but x different z here the k is diff nothing but x difference y for example for example, 6 not 9 difference, 9 not 6. This nothing is going to be the, the multiple of 99. Here, what is the difference between 6 and 9? 3. So, therefore, this is going to be 3 into 99. You can very well check. This is going to be 297. Similarly, for any number, for example, you take 783 difference 387. It is going to be 396, which is nothing but the difference between 7 and 3 but 4 into 99 similarly two digit number also difference between 83 and 38 it is going to be so 8 and 3 the difference is 5 so this is 5 times 9 so which is nothing but 45 so if i know this concept then i can answer this question in a few seconds so it's a three digit number so the uh, Difference is 198. So 198 means 2. So the 2 is, so therefore, the difference between the first and the last digit must be 2 because 198 is equal to 99 into 2. Okay. So my idea is to not just solving the problem. Okay. It's explaining the concepts so that you can solve any problems asked similar easy so without using pen or pencil in aptitude problem you are supposed to speed is very important and also speed and accuracy speed and accuracy the exam especially is the examination with the negative marking where you are supposed to solve problems faster and also with 100 percentage accuracy okay next second problem yeah solid cube of three centimeter side painted on all its faces is cut up into small cubes of one centimeter side how many smaller cubes will have exactly two painted faces okay so this is a cube so this is a cube of three centimeter so a cube of three centimeter I'm drawing this. First, understand it is a cube of three centimeters side. A cube has six faces. It is a solid one. So therefore, if I cut a cube of side three centimeter into a smaller cubes of side one centimeter, then I will have three power three smaller pieces. That means. 27 smaller pieces in this case. Suppose if the cube, the side of the cube is 4 centimeter, then I will have 4 cube, which is equal to 64 smaller pieces. So in general, for n-sided cube, if I cut into smaller cubes of 1 units or 1 centimeter size, then I will have n cube smaller cubes. So here it is a three centimeter. So therefore, total number of smaller cubes will be twenty-seven. Now please note that six faces are painted. This is one face. This is this is another face. This is third face. This is fourth face. This is fifth face. The facing face is first face, and the opposite is sixth face. Now, since all faces are painted, so therefore, this particular smaller cube is painted this side and this side and this side. So therefore, this is painted on its three faces. Similarly, here also three faces, three faces, this side, this side, this side. And then pencil is greater than cap and the pen is less than 
sorry pencil is less than cap and uh, pen is less than cap so this is not true for example please note that suppose if book is 8 pencil is 5 and cap is 4 then in this case pencil is greater than cap suppose if cap is 6 in this case the pencil is less than cap but still these two inequalities are correct okay so therefore now please note that for this type of problem i always go from the options because i'm going to find the correct answer so pen is greater than cap pen greater than cap not possible there is no relation between pen and cap you cannot establish a solid relation between pen and cap pen can be less than cap or greater than cap so therefore this is incorrect next is pen is less than book pen less than pencil less than books therefore in this therefore definitely pen also less than books therefore this is correct i no need to check because this is definitely not correct pencil greater than cap pencil greater than cap this is also not incorrect so therefore this is the answer Here it is strictly less than suppose if there is an equality sign and always use that concept of equality also okay next question fifth question yeah bookseller sold a number of geography textbooks at the rate of rupees x per book and a plus please read the question so a number of geography textbooks at the rate of x so when a number of geography textbooks at the rate of x per book so therefore what is the total cost the total cost so the total cost is equal to a into x similarly for a plus 2 number of history books is a plus 2 but each at the rate of x plus 2 so therefore you are supposed to find to find the total cost you are supposed to multiply a plus 2 into x plus 2 plus a minus 2 into x minus 2 this is a pure arithmetic problem you are supposed to expand so this is a x a plus 2 into x plus 2 so this is a x plus 2 a plus 2 x plus 4 plus a x minus 2 a minus 2x plus 4 so this is equal to so 2a 2a gets cancelled 2x 2x get cancelled therefore you have a 3ax plus 8 so 3ax plus 8 is the answer for this question okay next this is a yeah, probability chance this problem read the question carefully yeah back and then 15 red balls and 20 black balls each ball is numbered either one two or four 20 percent of the red balls are numbered one and 40 percentage of them are number three similarly among the black balls 40 percentage are number two and 30 percentage are number three a boy picks a ball at tandem he wins if the ball is red and number three or if it is black and number one are two what are the chances of his winning right so what are the chances of winnings this favorable case he should get what red if the ball is red must be number three if the ball is black now can be numbered one or two okay now we'll see red how many red balls are there there are 15 red balls are there okay there are 15 red balls are there so what is totally how many balls are there this is 15 red and 20 black so therefore what is total number of balls total number of balls is 35 so therefore so what is the probability of getting a red the probability of getting the red is 15 by 35 in this 
probability of getting red i want the red must be what number 3 so 3 how many balls are 3 so 20 percentage of red balls are numbered 1 and 40 percentage of them numbered 3 so therefore of this 40 percentage are numbered 3 so therefore 40 percentage of 4500 into 15 by 100 r r means plus in probability so black black what is the probability of getting black black is 20 by 35 but in this black i want 1 or 2 1 r 2 okay right among the black balls 45 are number 2 and 30 are number 3 so i don't want 3 i can it can be 1 or 2 so therefore except 3 3 is 30 percentage therefore remaining is 70 percentage so 70 percentage of balls in black are either 1 or 2 so this is answer simplify and get the value is a basic concept you can simplify so our simplification get this is 6 by 35 14 by 35 so therefore this is 20 by 35 which is equal to 4 by 7 so therefore the answer is 4 by 7 okay please watch for the remaining problems in the next uh, video file okay so please comment share uh, write your reviews about this okay right so i am rajagopal from radian ias academy thank you we'll meet in the next